It's gonna be a really good time together, brother. Really it's gonna be a good time, all right? We're all on the hunt. Welcome back to my channel, Sync. So if you haven't already read the title and you're here because you like me, listen, I always appreciate it, okay? So open your mouth and give me your big toe. That came out in a weird order, but both of those things need to happen in order for us to move forward. Thanks. Now, on today's video, I'm giving you guys a super quick and easy meal prep that I have been f***ing up. I love it, okay? I love it in a really aggressive way. Sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm, I love it so much that I'm actually having it for lunch and dinner, and I want to give you guys the recipe because how f***y of a person would I be if I did not share? And I love you guys. We're cult, okay? I need something quick, okay? I don't want to spend four fucking hours inside the kitchen meal prepping. It's just not my thing. I'm not into it. I'm not into it at all. I don't like it at all, ever. I refuse to be stuck doing it. I do. The target audience for this video, if you're looking for a delicious meal prep option, maybe you're a college student, okay? You don't have a lot of time and you don't want to share a kitchen with a whole bunch of dirty gremlins. Maybe you're a mother. You don't have four hours out of the day to randomly start meal prepping. Maybe you're lazy. There's a couple of other targets that I could probably hit on, but um, I feel like you guys get the gist of it. So I'm gonna take you guys with me to the grocery store and we're gonna prep and I'm gonna show you that this literally takes less than 20, 30 minutes to prep five, six, seven, eight. I don't give how many meals. Okay, you're welcome, you're welcome. Before we head out, I am gonna go ahead and take a hydration packet. I know you guys saw my new week of workouts and if you haven't seen it, it's a great video, so go watch it. My body is extremely sore, extremely sore. My muscles have been going through it and I was running three miles and I was sitting there doing an hour worth of hit and it was just a lot on my body and I can definitely feel it now that I'm back home and you guys already know how I feel about this this is element my tried and true I've been talking about them for the past what's it been like six seven months at this point and they are sponsoring this video so please give them a huge Woo! oh my god thank you so much for supporting my little stink yes thank you kisses so element contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio when you're sweating like I was when I was doing all that running and that super crazy Kango intense hit the primary electrolyte loss is sodium or salt if you're an athlete which I felt like I was last week when I was running that three mile, you can actually lose up to seven grams of sodium per day, which if you did not know, which I feel like I've already been preaching this too much, that's like a lot, that's a lot. When the sodium isn't replaced, don't be surprised, okay, just being honest, if you're getting a lot of cramping and you're having a lot of other muscle fatiguing symptoms, which is what I'm currently going through. Now, a super simple way to avoid that is by taking a electrolyte packet, like so. At the end of the day, guys, like the reason why I continue to keep preaching this product is because I just wanna make sure that we are all properly replenishing ourselves so that we don't have some of the issues that I used to struggle with in the past. Your micronutrients are just as important as your macronutrients. So Element is offering you guys a free sample packet with any order. So just make sure that you guys use my link so that you guys can take advantage of that offer. I'm also gonna place it in my description box down below. Please give another huge thank you to Element for sponsoring this week's video and continuously supporting this channel. Mwah! If I could just open it. You guys like my cup? Who's ready to go to the store? Me, I am. I'm hungry. I'm not gonna lie, I've been thinking about this meal for a while. Bottle bots roll out. You know, the thing that I like most is that this Publix is like right next to my house. So anytime I'm like missing some shit, I just, I'm like, well, I'm just gonna walk over to the Publix and get some steps in. Say oh hi. Oh my gosh, how are you two? This is Esther. I actually put her in one of my videos for one of my favorite finished creators. She's great. So if you guys want some more motivational stuff, then she's a great person to do that with. So the ingredients are super simple. So, um, cause again, like we don't have time, right? We're on the hunt for a rush. We have the groceries. I'm excited. Literally, I was in the store for like maybe like three minutes because again, like I make this all the time, okay? And soon you might be making this all the time and it's gonna be a really good time together, brother. Who's ready to cook, okay? Me, because I'm, I'm hungry and I have a slight headache. So I'm gonna show you guys all the ingredients that you need right now. So here's the gap. If you want like a, an easier option, you can just do ground beef. I like the Korean barbecue style of like having that shredded ribeye, but like if you don't want to do that, ground beef will literally taste almost damn near the same, just being honest. And then this is optional. This is like a rice seasoning. You don't need this, but I just really think it brings everything together, okay? I actually got mine off Amazon, and then when I was in Houston, they had it in the Walmart. So just depends where you're at, where you can find it. You can also find it like any Asian market, but I'm actually gonna put this in my storefront, so you don't have to worry about it if you're searching for it. You're welcome. Some of my clients will always ask me, by the way, I offer one-on-one -on -one training if you're interested, credentials. 
you know, how do you do the serving size without measuring? Because a lot of the times I won't use my scale as much as I used to. And typically what I will do is I will look at the back of the package. And so for instance, this has three servings per container and one serving is four ounces. Okay, four ounces has 26 grams of protein in it. So I already know that this entire container is going to give me three full servings. So if I have two, which is what I got, I know that I am holding six meals worth of meat right here versus me trying to measure everything out exactly. I just know that I need to evenly split this into six containers and I don't really measure it. You can season with whatever you want. If you're a salt and pepper girly, go for it. I'll put like some garlic powder, some other bullshit there, and then the Korean barbecue sauce because that's what really just, you know, brings it home for us. Okay, so same thing when it comes to me using the Korean barbecue sauce. So one serving of this is one tablespoon and that is 45 calories. So now because I have six servings in here, I typically do one tablespoon per serving. So I'll do six tablespoons. That way I know exactly, again, how much I'm putting into my body. And nothing is ever gonna be exact and that's totally fine. We just want a really, really good rough estimate. And then same thing with the gochujang, which is just like a Korean hot sauce. Like if you like spicy stuff or like you wanna add a bit of a kick, this is my girl. It's only 10 calories per tablespoon, but I'm only gonna put about like three or four servings in here cause I like spicy, but you know, I don't like it where it hurts, where it's so spicy that I that I can't enjoy it, okay? I want like a nice subtle burn. I don't want to feel like my ass on fire, okay? I'm just being honest. I don't want my butthole to be on fire. Hey, yo. I'm running out, I'm running out, don't say anything. Now that I have all of that combined, I feel like I really don't even need to say this because like at this point, I feel like I'm talking to my kids, but I don't have any kids, F kids. Yeah, I just mix everything together. Like if you want to let it marinate, you can. I'm not, I'm just gonna cook this bitch. I don't have time for that. I'm going to the gym after this. Goodness gracious. When I make my move. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds like something I'm sure some of you are familiar with. You what? And if you're not, ask your dad. Huh? Okay, so now that I have already seasoned the meat and stuff like that, now I can just pop this mother <laughs> in the microwave, okay, for five minutes, okay, or however long it says it's gonna take. <laughs> We're gonna ignore that. We're gonna ignore that. And if you're my landlord, you're also gonna ignore that. Kisses. While that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking the beef. It literally takes no time. You're gonna put your pan on like super, super hot. I like my to get a little crisp, okay? I do, I wanna crunch just a tad bit, not for everyone, but it's for me. Now, same rule applies to the jasmine rice. 90 seconds, brother, 90 seconds. For the sake of the video, I only put one in there, but I'm not gonna lie, I put them all in there at the same time, okay? It might have to be a little bit longer than 90 seconds, but the deed is done. And then same thing with my veggies. I realized I only got one, but I did have like some cauliflower and broccoli rice in my freezer. So my meat is already cooked, and now I'm gonna start assembling. And guys, when I came home, it was like 9.20. It's like 9.50 right now. And keep in mind, I'm having to sit here and move the camera around and talk to you guys. This meal takes no time. You're fucking welcome. Sorry, that felt a little bit of aggressive. All right, let me relax. And to make up for my, my tone, Maybe I'll send you a pic. Promise. Real quick too. So when it comes to these rices, right? Now these are like more on the calorie dense side with rice. You do not have to do this. If you want to go ahead and get you a bag of jasmine rice or whatever rice you enjoy and just cook it in bulk, you can do that. It'll probably be a lot less calories than this. I'm someone that typically has larger meals and smaller snacks versus like an even amount of food in every meal. So I can afford the extra calories when it comes to this, but if you can't, like there are definitely other ways around this, okay? Let go. Ooh, that looks tight. Now, for the sake of garnishing, you don't have to do this, okay? But I am gonna put a little bit of green onions on there just because I feel like that's what it would have on there. I don't wanna hear any complaints. A bit of spice, bruv. Just a bit of spice. Oh yeah. Aesthetic. Okay, and then usually I won't... Where is my avocado? Where's my avocado? Where's my avocado?
Now, when it comes to like the avocado part, again, like this is gonna add like an extra 120 calories to it because I'm gonna do half an avocado. But if you're not someone that loves avocado, don't put avocado in there. If you don't talk with broccoli, don't use broccoli, use something else. You can make these meals extremely customizable. But if you don't like something, leave it out. Leave it out. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes when I read the comments, I be in there, I'm like, God damn. I made this one meal prep video and someone's like, oh, like what, what do I do if I don't like tomatoes? Don't use them. If you don't talk with tomatoes, when you, if you're allergic to nuts, don't eat nuts. Back to what I was saying, I usually will only cut up an avocado like right when I'm using it. So I have these meals for lunch and dinner. That's why I made six. This is three days worth of food for me. But I'll end up just like cutting one the day of and then just using it as I go throughout the day. So I don't know if you guys knew this about me. I'm pretty sure I said this in one of my videos. But if you're new here, welcome. I used to work at Chipotle. If anyone knows how to mash an avocado, it's me, bruv. It'll always be me. And then finally, I'm going to use my rice seasoning. Just sprinkle on top of everything. And there you have it. We have a Korean barbecue bowl. Mm. <sighs> okay, and there you have it. Okay, that's six meals. Guys, it just hit 10 a.m. It just hit 10 a.m. It takes no time whatsoever. So when you give me the excuse, I don't have time. Listen, I know you're sitting there watching Netflix. I know you're scrolling on TikTok. I know you're watching a 40 minute YouTube video. So when I tell you that I don't hear it, I don't. You got this. I know this journey isn't easy. I know this shit takes a lot of energy and effort, but I promise you it'll be so, so, so worth it in the end. And you will be so grateful that you took the time to do it. So stop complaining. Hugger, uh, I am gonna go ahead and place all the macros and calories in the description box down below for you guys Again, like you can make adjustments to the recipe based off of your preferences your needs and your goals So when you're thinking hey, is this good for fat loss? It can be or is this good for bulk? It might anyway That is all for this week's video stings. Um, if you haven't already, please, please, please like and subscribe join the cult Okay, you're only gonna be entertained educated and fondled I call it being effed and if you want me to f you join the cult brother And if you haven't already tell your nana I said hi Hi, okay, she's probably a real nice lady and if she's not you guys already know how I intimately deeply hate old people And when I say old, I mean like elderly not the cute ones, but the ones that are cunts. Bye That's all folks